Welcome to lecture 4. In this video, we're going to use the pre trained classifier, MobileNet, to detect objects in images. For MobileNet, they trained a convolutional neural network, CNN, with labeled training data. The training data contained images of objects, plants, and animals. After the training phase, you can use the classifier to predict the contents of new images. You give it a new image, and for each label in the training set, it will give a prediction on what the odds are that the object with that label is in the picture. In this case, it is 90% sure that there is a circle, and only 10% sure it is a triangle. What we want to do is see what MobileNet sees in our example strawberry images. In main.js, we will write a function to predict these base model examples. We take the two images from the HTML elements and we ask BarryNet, the code for which we will write next, what the base model predicts for this image. The result is then added into a result element, so we can see it on the web page. The actual prediction using MobileNet is done in BarryNet.js. Here, we have to predict base model function, which first calls load base model for loading the mobile net. This may take a few seconds, depending on your internet connection. We wait until the mobile net is loaded and then call the classify method on the network using the image, and the result is returned. When we refresh the web page, we find that the algorithm successfully predicted that there is a strawberry in the image with a certainty of about 99%. In the second image, the algorithm also predicts the content to be a strawberry, but only with about a 9% probability. This is probably because the mobile net algorithm is not trained using unripe strawberries. At any rate, the mobile net does not say anything about the ripeness of the strawberry. For this, we need to train our own classifier. 